In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the raised round strategy. Here we have some very simple vector artwork. So I'm going to select all of my vector artwork here. And I'm going to open the raised round tool. So here we have the raised round toolpath. And I'm going to type in some figures into this area here. So first of all, my start depth, I'm going to leave at zero. So I want to start at the top of the material. My finish depth, I'm going to put in as 0.75 millimeters. And I'm going to put my width in as two millimeters. So here we have our side wall profile. I'm going to drag this handle here and change the angle to about 45 degrees. So about there. To create a curved sweeping in cross section. I'm next going to select my tool, which I'm going to use a 0.3 millimeter ball nose tool. I'm going to use a three millimeter material block. So I'm just going to calculate this tool path. So the tool path that's being created, if I just view this from the side, here we can see, if I just zoom into this area here, so here we have our sidewall profile here acting as our sidewall profile of our design. So when I come to simulate my design, and we'll just switch back over to a perspective view. What we shall see when we zoom in is that our actual design sweeps in as it did on our raised round toolpath. So it allows us to create some clean text without the requirement to actually model our text using a relief. It can all be done via the raised round toolpath. So here we have our finished simulated sign text. We can see the quality of the toolpath as it starts to curve in towards the bottom of our design and on our text. Now this comes in at a steep and then smooths out towards the bottom. If I come into my raised round toolpath and change our design so it just sweeps in first instead of getting this crisp edge if I recalculate my design we'll see the difference that's created so with this toolpath created if I come across to my 3d view and change to the side profile once again just zoom in we can see that the profile here represents the profile on the side here again if I switch over I'll close this down and if I come over and delete my simulation but then recalculate my new simulation we'll see a difference in the design so what we'll see is how our design sweeps in rather than coming in at a sharp angle. Okay, so if we zoom in now, we can see the difference that rather than being sharp, it actually smooths in or comes in flat and then sweeps in towards the bottom rather than starting at a sharp line and cutting its way straight into the design. So how you change the raised round strategy or your sidewall changes how your finished text looks.
So this is the raised round strategy within ArcCam 2010.